a packed house for this one. The Red Noses, how to attract a crowd. And there was Zoe Aldroff, the pick of the bunch, on the occasion of her 50th cap, a former World Player of the Year and a really popular member of this England squad. Of course, enjoying the recognition of this incredible crowd here at Ashton Gate. Here we go then. England against Wales in round two of the Guinness Women's Six Nations is underway. George then doesn't need to spend too long with that and that is a strong start from Wales. They've taken their chances. This time Muir manages to work it out. The captain Packer somehow gets that one away and we've got women out there. Flying away is Abby Dow. Is anyone going to stop her? What a step from Dow. They're trying everything to stop her going. She's inches from the line. They need to spin it out. More Muir. Surely that's over. And England strike back at the first opportunity. Such a powerful and direct runner like Maud, Maud Muir coming through like that. She's very difficult to hold out. Slow ball again, though. Matthews right through the middle. Have they got one more in them? Passes it out. Powering through. England score their second. And running. And it is Allcroft who touches down on her 50th cap. And England extend their lead. So many red shirts in front of her. Still a metre to travel. Bottomman again is over the top and down. Hannah Bottomman. She got the opening try last week against Italy. And she's scoring again at her home ground. So England's forwards are very, very dominant. She is such a good, big ball carrier. Doesn't really tell the tale of the half. Oh, there's a big push. Wales are going to have to get this one out. It's a penalty to England. Huge shove by the forwards. They get their reward. And here they are flying through the sky as well. All props. She's got one try. Change, She's now driving change. this one no, forward. Out. Out. A warning for Wales there to get round on the right side. side entry. Another Dead. penalty advantage for England now. Can they finish the job before they have to use it? The ball's in there somewhere. It's a huge mess of bodies. Try given. England rack up a bonus point before the half-time whistle. Gallagher is there. She can see Bottom and Amur offering right. themselves. They spin towards the other side. Kildon has it. Kildon scores. Ellie Kildon, three tries now in the Six Nations. Great stretch there from Kildon. Oh, here comes her. She can see space. She just needs to straighten. The Red Roses are looking lethal. Big pass. Oh, what a pass! Reach goes out to Dow, and that is a lovely finish by the England backs. They are running riot now here at Ashton Gate. They have come out on fire in this second half. So many phases worked through now by Wales. England quite happy to defend. Huge hit offside. coming in there. Gallagher comes from offside. Bevan is off. Still Bevan. Bevan scores. It's a Wales try. On pushing on. Cecilia Tuipulotto again. This is just going from team to team. No one wants to hold on to it. Heard. Gallagher's going to fire through. Rosie Gallagher, who has absolutely adored her opportunity today here at Ashton Gate goes over for her try and that is now seven on the board for England not always connecting for either side it's a little bit more loose Tatiana her can see Meg Jones is there spins it out to Ellie Kildum she can't go over again yes she can oh my goodness is that going to be given if that try is given which it could well be. It is. What a finish by Ellie Kildan. But England got into shape. Great run and straight. Meg Jones there fixes Lisa Newman and gives. I mean, Ellie Kildan has still got a lot of work to do. But her ability there to get the ball down, this is going to be a much better angle. Great driving in, stays away from that touchline and then gets her feet down in the fallout. What a finish that is.
That is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Talk about awareness of where the sideline is. The strength, the power to hold off the two players. Look, she's keeping hold of that ball. She knows she's got to get it down. That is exactly what they do. It is an English day at Aston Gate.